hello guys welcome back to coding cafe my name is Mohammed Ali and let's start this e-commerce app which is just like Aliexpress and Amazon so start a new Android project and the name of our this project will be let's give it a name as e-commerce and then click next and from here you can choose any API level you want but my suggestion will be to choose above this 21 okay so I will simply choose API 23 Android 6.0 Marshmallow and then click next choose an empty activity click next and the name of our first activity will be main activity and then click finish so wait for a few seconds it is going to create a new project for us so our new project is launched successfully okay so this is our first activity which is main activity and this is the activity main.xml file but first of all we need to connect our this e-commerce app to the firebase database so how we can do that go to the browser okay open your browser and here you can simply write firebase and this will appear so from here you can simply click on this firebase.google.com the link is here okay so click on this firebase and before you do that let me tell you that it is important that you are uh, that you must sign into your gmail account okay then you will be able to uh, create a project here i mean in the firebase so that we can connect our app to the firebase database so now click on firebase and from here you can simply uh, click on this go to console so from here here you can see we have this add project and this uh, plus icon you can simply click on that and this window will appear and from here you can simply give uh, your project name firebase okay so the name of our project is e-commerce so you can simply give it a name as e-commerce i mean any favorite name you want to give to uh, your this project you can give that name to this okay and this will be our project id and now you can simply click uh, check this checkbox and then click on this create project and then you have to wait few seconds it is going to create a project for us and here we go it is completed successfully and it says your new project is ready click on continue and this is our project which is by the name e-commerce now here we need to specify that is for which platform you are going to use it uh, I mean for the iOS Android or the, for the web so we are going to make an Android app so you can simply click on this Android okay here you can see that click on that and this window will appear and here you need to uh, add your Android uh, project package name so go to the Android studio and here you can see above here it is written that is package you can simply select this com.example and whatever your package name is okay so copy your package name from here control C then go back here and paste that package name here here you can see that and then uh, you can give uh, any nickname to your app you want and i will simply uh, give it a name as e-commerce amazon clone so this is basically the nickname okay and here we need to uh, provide the sha1 code okay so for that go to the android studio here you can see this gradle okay click on this gradle and then click here on this uh, icon which is a circle okay click on that and here you can see we have this e-commerce root which is our app root okay so you can simply click here and from here this task will open and then we have these options or you can say these files from here you can simply expand this android and here you can see we have this signing report okay double click on that and here you can see we have our this will appear which is uh, our SHA1 okay so you can simply copy this from here up to here okay this is our SHA1 and now go back here and here you can simply paste that code I mean this SHA1 and before we register for the app come here now close this okay and from here turn it back to the app so yeah that's it now you can simply click on this register app So yeah, that's it. Now the next thing is to uh, copy this Google Services.json file. So you can simply click here on this download Google Services.json. 
and download this uh, Google search.json file. Okay, so when, whenever you want, I mean, uh, you can specify the place where you want to download it. Okay, click OK and then download it. So this is the file which we just downloaded. Okay, and now you can simply click on next. And here we need to add these uh, dependencies. Okay, so copy this dependency. Go to the Android Studio and here we have this Gradle scripts. And if I show you, this is the project level build Gradle, okay? This one. So you can simply click here on this build.gradle project, okay? Double click on that. And here inside this dependencies, you can simply pass that uh, dependency. And now copy this another one, which is implementation Firebase minus core. So you can simply copy this dependency and come here and now go to the build.gradle module app. Double click on that. And here we have this dependencies. And now here you can simply add that dependency which is Firebase Core. And then we have to copy the last one which is the com Google GMS Google Services. Copy this, go to the Android Studio and here below this dependencies, here we can simply pass that. And thing which is left is you can now copy this uh, Google services.json file which we just uh, downloaded. Okay, copy this and come here. Here you can simply first change this to project. And then here you can see this e-commerce which is our project name, expand this and here we have this app and inside this app you can simply paste your file. You can simply click paste and this is the file then click OK. So you can see the file is added here successfully which is basically our JSON file. And once you do that then you can now simply click on this sync now. So the Gradle build is running now and you have to wait for a few seconds. So yeah, everything is completed successfully. Now you can simply close all these files. And now come here to the browser, click next and our project is created successfully. In order to confirm this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply uh, go to the first close this. And now let's go to the Firebase console so that I can show you guys our project. Firebase console, which is console.firebase.google.com. And here you can see our app, our project uh, is created successfully, which is e-commerce and it is successfully connected to our Android project, which is by the same name e-commerce. OK, so if you click on that, then here you can see we have authentication, database, storage, holiday and all these Firebase uh, features. Now we can access them and now we have to uh, basically create the real time data database. So for that, you can simply scroll down a little bit and uh, if you want you can read all these things but here you can simply click on this database and as you know for our project we will be using the firebase real-time database so if you scroll down a little bit then here you can see we have this real-time database so click on this create database and this is the security rules okay which is in locked mode and test mode so you can simply select the start in test mode for which the read and write will be true so it basically means that we can a user can simply uh, uh, upload and download files from over this app since we will be allow the user in this app so that's why we uh, just allow the user to do these things okay so now click enable and here we go so everything is uh, perfect i mean everything is working fine or pro we have created uh, a firebase project we have also connect this to our android project and now from the next tutorial we will start work on our project uh, and we will add, create the login and the sign up activity. So yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.